Since becoming interim president of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Tror, Africa's youngest president, has moved quickly to fulfill his promise of ushering in transformative change and improving the lives of his fellow citizens. His tenure has been distinguished by a proactive approach to development, as evidenced by the inception and implementation of numerous projects aimed at improving Burkina Faso's economy and society. Notably, Tror has demonstrated a commitment to continuity by diligently following up on projects that began prior to his assumption of power, indicating a pragmatic and forward-thinking leadership style. Ibrahim Tror has captivated the attention of both domestic and international audiences in the short time since his rise to prominence, thanks to his unique characteristics and actions. Tror's presence has made waves in political circles and beyond, whether it's due to his unwavering dedication to the military uniform, his candid and outspoken nature, or his distinct approach to interpersonal interactions. His dynamic leadership style, combined with a palpable sense of determination and vision, establishes him as a pivotal figure in Burkina Faso's trajectory, promising a brighter and more prosperous future under his leadership. The rest of the world, particularly France, may dislike him, but the Burkinabes adore him. In this video, we'll count down seven projects that Ibrahim Tror has initiated or will continue. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and enable notifications to ensure you don't miss any of our videos. 1. Modernization of all roads in Burkina Faso Burkina Faso has always struggled with inadequate roads, which has led to a great deal of resentment. Despite its abundant mineral resources, the country remains one of the poorest on the continent, with an inadequate road network. However, Ibrahim Tror has continued where his predecessor left off, investing in road construction and rehabilitation projects to improve the quality and connectivity of the country's road network. This includes the construction of new roads, widening existing ones, and converting gravel roads to asphalt surfaces. Prosperous roads also play an important role in facilitating regional trade by connecting Burkina Faso to neighboring countries. Burkina Faso's current road construction projects include the Boromo Bobo de Lasso Highway, the Cupella Ferengoma Road, and the Oigadugu Bobo Body Lasso Highway. These projects include the construction of paved roads to improve transportation and trade in the area. The realities of the work on the ground show how much has been accomplished in such a short period of time. Previously, the roads were damaged, narrow, and dangerous. This reality, however, has changed dramatically as a result of Captain Abraham Chor's commitment. Over 70 kilometers of roads have been built in just nine months, with more currently under construction to facilitate transportation within the framework of economic development, as well as bridges to ease river crossings. Traders can now transport their goods more easily and securely. The residents of the regions traversed by these new roads overjoyed have expressed their gratitude to Captain Ibrahim Tror. 2. Burkinaba Airport Development Project Burkina Faso's government secured $61.8 million in loans from the West African Development Bank and ECOWAS Bank for investment and development for the new airport. The West African Development Bank will provide $51.5 million for road work, water systems, emergency service facilities, equipment purchases, and the construction of technical buildings for the project. ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development will contribute $10.3 million towards the construction of administrative buildings. The airport project's total economic impact is estimated to be $420 million. Construction is expected to generate approximately 5,000 direct and indirect jobs. A captive solar plant and storage system will meet 80% of the airport's electricity needs. The project is being managed by Mitre's Doverge del Aeroport de Donson, or MOAD. The new airport will replace the current Ouagadougou Airport. On January 3, 2023, Burkina Faso's transitional president, Ibrahim Tror, announced that contracts for the Ouagadougou Donson Airport project would be suspended pending review. On December 30, 2022, a building under construction at the airport collapsed, killing seven people and injuring six. Construction on the airport has resumed and once completed, 
it will be a game changer in Burkina Faso. In recent years, Burkina Faso has faced the challenge of terrorist attacks, which jeopardize its stability and impede economic progress. To deal with this issue, the program was launched to build resilience through the establishment of community-owned businesses. 3. Community Entrepreneurship Program Burkina Faso's transitional president, Captain Abraham Tror, recently launched a community entrepreneurship program to promote the country's endogenous and inclusive development. The announcement was made by the presidency on Monday, June 12, 2023. The program's goal is to encourage the formation of community businesses that specialize in the production, processing, and marketing of local products and industries such as agriculture, mining, and manufacturing. It will also encourage the creation of jobs for young people. EPEC, the Community Entrepreneurship Promotion Agency, is in charge of the project, which is overseen technically by SCOPTA, a cooperative. The community businesses created will be solely owned by Burkina Faso residents. We are confident that this community shareholding approach is an effective solution to the economic, social, and political challenges we face, said Finance Minister Abu Bakr Nakanabo. EPIC intends to launch the initiative by expanding Sofeto tomato paste production to include two new processing plants, as well as establishing a semi-mechanized gold mining company to operate on free sites. Other projects include agricultural mechanization and intensification projects that aim to create 1 million direct jobs in the next two years, as well as a central purchasing office for local produce. Subscriptions begin at 15,000 CFA francs, $25, which includes 5,000 CFA francs for registration at the Scoopta and 10,000 CFA francs to acquire shares. Subscription is open to all Birkin Bays at home and abroad, and they can purchase an unlimited number of shares. 4. Samandini Dam The Abu Dhabi Fund for Development, ADFD, the leading national entity for economic development aid, contributed $10 million to the development of the Samandini Dam in Burkina Faso. The funded project is part of the Samandini Basin Development Program, which seeks to promote sustainable growth in rural areas and improve living conditions by strengthening Burkina Faso's agricultural sector and food security system. The Scoopta project calls for the construction of a 2,900-meter long and 23.9-meter high earth dam capable of storing 1 billion cubic meters of water, as well as a 2.9-megawatt power plant. The project also includes the installation of irrigation systems to reclaim 1,000. There are 500 hectares of agricultural land in the dam basin. The Salmon D Dam project, built to the highest international standards, will improve food security, provide a source of income for rural communities, and increase the quantity and quality of agricultural production in the long run. Though Abraham Tror did not initiate this project, he has been involved in its advancement. 5. Renewable Energy Projects Burkina Faso has been actively pursuing renewable energy projects to diversify its energy sources, increase electricity access, and promote long-term development. With the arrival of Abraham Tror, the capacity of this project has been increased under strict control. Given the abundance of sunlight in the country, solar energy is a top priority. The government has launched initiatives like the Rural Electrification Program ELIE, which aims to provide solar-powered mini-grids and solar home systems to rural communities. Large-scale solar power plants have also been built, including the 33-megawatt Zaktuli Solar Power Plant. Burkina Faso is also looking into biomass and biogas projects, which use agricultural waste to produce energy. Small-scale hydropower projects are helping to unlock the country's hydropower potential. International cooperation and financial support from organizations such as the World Bank and the African Development Bank have been critical in financing and implementing these renewable energy projects. These initiatives help to increase electricity access, reduce reliance on fossil fuels, combat climate change, and foster long-term economic growth in Burkina Faso. 6. Water and Sanitation Projects Burkina Faso has been implementing water and sanitation projects to address the problems of water scarcity, insufficient sanitation facilities, and poor hygiene. 
These initiatives aim to improve access to clean water and promote good hygiene, particularly in rural communities. Projects include the construction and rehabilitation of water supply systems, such as boreholes and piped water networks, to ensure that communities have access to safe drinking water. Sanitation infrastructure projects aim to improve sanitation by constructing latrines, public toilets, and wastewater management systems. Hygiene promotion campaigns also raise awareness of proper hygiene practices, such as hand washing and waste management. International organizations, such as the World Bank and UNICEF, have provided critical funding and technical assistance for these projects. These water and sanitation initiatives help to reduce waterborne diseases, improve public health, and raise the overall quality of life in Burkina Faso. 7. Agriculture and Rural Development Projects Burkina Faso has been carrying out agriculture and rural development projects to improve food security, promote sustainable farming practices, and improve the livelihoods of rural people. These projects seek to address issues such as low agricultural productivity, limited market access, and climate change effects. Initiatives include promoting modern agricultural techniques like conservation agriculture and agroforestry to improve soil fertility, water management, and crop yields. Construction and rehabilitation of irrigation systems and water harvesting infrastructure helps to mitigate drought effects and support year-round farming activities. Rural development projects aim to improve rural infrastructure, such as the construction and maintenance of rural roads, markets, and storage facilities. These efforts make transportation easier, reduce post-harvest losses, and connect farmers to markets, boosting their income and economic prospects. Furthermore, capacity building programs offer farmers training and technical assistance, equipping them with knowledge and skills in sustainable agricultural practices, financial management, and entrepreneurship. These projects are supported by international organizations, bilateral donors, and national institutions, which provide funding, technical assistance, and knowledge sharing. These agricultural and rural development initiatives help to increase food production, reduce poverty, and promote sustainable rural livelihoods in Burkina Faso. Ibrahim Troer has promised to do everything in his power to transform Burkina Faso, and we can already see the results after just a few months in power. We'll keep you updated on his achievements. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.